Alright, welcome to the Killing Floor Games quarterfinals. This is the game two from tonight, and we have the team Sharp Specialists, who qualified with a time of 24 minutes 21 when they played round one on Steamland. I'm Grail, and joining me tonight is Egg and Hyper Munchies. Hi, everybody. And contrary to their name, this team looks to have gone again with three supports, and only the single Sharp. So, their support specialists tonight. So what do you guys think about the three supports and the one sharp? I know they did okay in round one. What do you think of it? Um, one round one, they had a you, um, much bastards. more subtle approach, whereas in this case they... Well, they will have it, oh, depending on where they camp, actually, I would say. Um, but it might be a okay, bit cash dodgy Someone on the ammo. Uh, I agree with Hyper there. Ammo is probably going to be the biggest problem. Having said that, there's a few camp spots where they can park in close quarters and make really good use of the penetrating fire from the shotguns. It certainly worked pretty well in the first round. Yep. My concern is that with one sharp, they put an awful lot of stress and pressure on that one player, a lot of responsibility to take out scrakes. I mean, yes, sure, you can take out scrakes with overwhelming firepower, but there's something to be said for uh, being able to stun the scrake. They're going into the small room. Alright, this is... Uh, not a bad place in pub games, but if it gets overwhelmed, it's, it can go messy really quick. And yeah, three three supports here can really smash them. I still like the demo though. Yeah, it's pretty hard to go past the firepower of a demo. I'm surprised they have gone the way they have. But on the other hand. You can get a lot of DPS from support, uh, especially at close quarters, and with three of them, you can really pack in the pain. New mag, give me a sec. Indeed. It looks like they're just going to try the uh, brute force approach. That was clever work there by um, Special Pots, stunning the Scrake in the doorway, nothing else can get in. Did it again, nicely done, waiting till he gets in the door frame before stunning him. I can see to a point why they didn't go with the demo here though, if um, if a flesh pound or something gets into the room, even with a level 6 demo, it is possible to kill yourself, or at the very least injure yourself quite badly because it's in close proximity. So I guess it, they're just playing safe from that point of view. Uh, yeah, it's fun, Ralph, but obviously had a bit of a think about it, and pick their perks accordingly. So this is obviously the reason why they haven't come with the demo. I'm saying spot on. Don't want to kill themselves. Yep. And that's a good time for wave one, just three minutes. Stand still, do I look like I'm nicking stuff? Three minutes ten when they killed the last Sid. They did take a little bit of damage from while I heal husks you. there. Stand still, will you? I'm trying to heal you. Uh, Just gotta be mindful of that. So might be a bit of an issue. Here's some cash, guys. Someone take it. If I correctly, um, in their round one game, they always use their grenades to kill the flesh pounds. And in oh, this case, run. they would be very close to the flesh pounds for the grenades. They might be able to back off. So, um, yeah, they might have to be a bit worried about the damage. 
Indeed. Um, they're going to have to rage the Flesh Pound. So he goes through his slow rage animation outside the room. If he gets in the room, the grenades might hurt them. There's Flesh Pound coming up. And, and gone down. quickly. We have two of the supports carrying hunting shotguns like they did in the first game. They played on the lane and one of them's got an AA-12. That's not bad either, the, the AA-12 is really useful if things go pear-shaped for them. You can just help clean the room. Nicely done on that scrake. This is one of the, you can just see there, one of the, the issues with camping in this room. A husk got a fireball off and it hit all four of them at once. The damage wasn't too significant because they're all wearing armour, but at later waves it might come back to bite them. You've got to get those husks before they can turn and aim. The brute force, though, of the three supports is impressive. Yes, indeed. Not much gets past with that doorway. Okay, he'll got a scrape and a flesh pound at once. And flesh pound is in the room, him. and flesh pound is. Okay, they've managed to and deal it. He got a few hits off on special pots, and a husk hit them as well. And that's that's the risk that they run in this room. If the flesh pound does get in. It can get messy. I'm reloading. Come on. Yes, um, double flip guns might also be a bit of an issue. Now, uh, if they manage to rage both at once, uh, see if they actually have the firepower to kill both at once. Eggs got on board. Stay put while I heal you. Reloading. So. Just over six minutes. They are Stand getting still. some good Do times here, though. Stuff? I'm trying to heal you, not shag you. So I don't think time is going to be an issue for these guys. It's just going to be whether or not they survive the waves because of the close proximity. So far, they're doing well, but it's been the easier waves at this point. Yeah, these waves coming up will be when they actually stress the team. Yep, and you're right multiple flesh pounds at one time Who needed money? especially if those flesh pounds are slightly apart and all they manage to do is rage one outside the room and he charges in whilst they're killing the first one Jag you. Uh, did I see someone buy a machete? you did so they, they had machetes in the first way, first game they played as well and they're I'm trying to heal you not bloody here. tickle you alright that's an interesting spot. So the machete would be, I guess, if they need to try and up and cut a scrake. Because you can flinch the, the scrake with the alt attack from the machete. Dangerous, but I suppose if they have to do it, they have to do it. So it's better well, to have the machete. Well, only got one so it might be their only option, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's a clever play just to take that, um, that consideration. This looks to be an interesting spot. I haven't seen anything coming from back at the really. I would have been sure they would have got spawns from back. Uh, here comes a lone clot. I've never seen anyone camp here before. Have you guys? Uh, no, I don't know. Need them. Special Ed's yeah. pretty relaxed at the back there. He is. I would have been certain they would have got lots of spawns. But no. Not many. Just a few clots. this side. Yeah, and this looks to be playing to their um, support strengths again and gives the, the sharp more room and time to get those scrapes. Interesting spot, nice spot. Nice kill as well. I think the real question everyone needs to ask though is with three supports, should they unweld the door to get the potato? <laughs> Boys thinking ground, I love it. 
Well, you know, it's right there. It is very nearby, that's true. And it's all gold. I expect that's what's going through the backs of their minds right now. I bet you're right there. Currently debating it whether they should go for the potato. They are doing a nice time here. It's very impressive. Good performance. And this is, this I is like a great spot. This is a much better spot than that room. Much safer. Almost bounced the flesh pound into um, Special Crow there, but they got him. They've just got so much more room here and time. I like it. I never would have thought about this spot. Alright, so what time do you guys reckon? Just nine and a half minutes so far, they've completed wave eight, pretty much. Yeah, this is looking very fast. Um, we might even see like a what 16 minutes? It may be. Stand still. Do they I keep look this like up? I'm nicking stuff? Maybe 15. Stand yeah, still. Looking do pretty I look good. like I'm nicking stuff? Yeah, so I they can't do really wave nine these guys are gonna do that. I didn't see that yeah. boss spot coming at all. No, so they've got to do wave nine and ten and the boss fight. So Stand if you allow for three you. minutes at the minimum for each wave, I guess, and that's six minutes for the. Are they going back to the small room? And. Two to three minutes for the boss fight. Yeah, so they might be doing 16 on, to 18 take, minutes, reloading. give or take. But I'm, I would have gone to that other spot. I would like that other spot better than this one. This is too dangerous if things go wrong. I would have Raging Splash Pound, oh, they got it. Still got a hit off on Special Pro. Raging Scrake also chewing Special, special Pro. They got away with it. They did. Special Crow's pretty much lost all his armor though, and they all got hit by that husk. Yeah, just that last spot. It was a good spot. And it was fast. They seem to be stabilizing though, doing alright. And special pots getting that scrape in the door again. That's that's the best thing that can happen in this room. Getting those scrakes in the door. Ah uh, yeah, they shot the thing attention. Nice strategic work there. Also getting very good usage out of the penetrating power of the shotguns. Indeed, yeah they're they're really fumbling well. Scrake in the room, but they took him out. Yeah, they're just playing brute force, aren't they? Yeah, but they're also covering themselves pretty impressively. Even when the sharp doesn't quite get the shot off on the screen. I think like there's at least one stuff ready with the hunting to uh, clean up afterwards. Yep. Listen to all this hunting's go on. That's great. So it's a nice little cacophony there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think Mart's on the way. There's a number of repays, that's just, a, <laughs> <laughs> that's just a thing to behold, isn't it? <laughs> grenades, grenades everywhere. No, oh, another nice stun there. Blocks everything. Yeah, I think they needed that moment of peace and quiet for a second there too. Yep. So that's another good quick wave. Give me a sec, I'm reloading. They have been taking Stand a bit of damage, still. but I look like I'm stuff. doesn't matter. They only need one hit point to survive. So all the rest of the hit points are expendable. Well, it looks like they got plenty of spares. Good work. Cover me, I'm reloading. The last Z left is a plotting scrake. Both barrels for you, you bastards. Cheers, no boss. chance.
another nice quick trade. In and out. They're going down here. This, this is good. I like what they're doing here. Going back to here because it's close. Save some time. Yeah, it's a very flexible team. They've got at least two campsites that they've pinned down. Yeah. But it's quite effective. Double flush pound. That was nicely done. And the grenade pushed the second flesh pound back, which was a bit fortuitous, but they rode their luck and it was well done. Yeah, for a team with no demo, it's pretty easily taken care of. Yep, the number of grenades they throw is just it's pretty impressive. It is great. No old barred fire now. But Let's have some of this. It's good to see as well, they're, um, it's pretty balanced. You have a look at the kills. It's not like one guy is leading the way by a vast distance. It's all pretty balanced. So it's a nice balanced team. It's only entertaining to watch. There's a lot going on. It's very entertaining to watch. These are my new favourite team. <laughs> you know, this strategy does remind me a little bit of... Uh, remember those guys in the last tournament uh, in the amusement park? And they parked in the cage. They just bought the biggest guns they could and blasted away like crazy people. I do remember that. That was yeah. also pretty fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, quite terrifying. This seems to be a um, much more refined version of that strategy. Yeah, it's just more it's brute force, but in a, uh, a more strategic way. Yeah. So there's been some, uh, some really good thinking behind this team. Here comes more flesh pounds, one of them at least. Only a single one, it looks like. Oh no, a second one following. Is a bit of a delay between the two, so that should make it easier to take care of. Oh, and looking forward. Oh, okay, Delta. Oh, got a bit Stop. jammed there. Now they they're getting forced back, but they've got a, a nice retreat path there. Oh, that was a nice kill. Yeah, a sick one, Delta, good stuff. Again, they're uh, using their expendable hit points well here. <laughs> I only need one. They yeah, are getting forced back into a reload. Yep. Like, oh, probably almost. Oh, special fonts was uh, got you back to the wall. Oh no! Special pro. Oh, uh, they got, Ooh, they got sandwiched. Yeah. I can hear someone else. Ah, another one gone special. Oh no. That was bad luck. No. That was unlucky. Yeah, that was pretty rough. The bush off this bomb and they um, got trapped and I was trying to cut it. Yeah, and they were just a couple away from no more spawns. They were almost at a point where they could have held. Take two. Give me a sec, I'm reloading. Double flesh pound again. I wonder if it would have been prudent at this point to drop a hunting shotgun for a second AA-12. That is a lot of grenades. That is an impressive quantity. Well, you know, grenades do tend to get pretty underutilized. Yeah, it tends to be pretty much only the demo and support that use their grenades. I guess most play. Oh, double siren, double siren at the back. Ooh. That was. Oh no. Uh oh. Nothing. No. He can do it. The clutch is off. Oh. Ah, oh, unlucky. Wasn't so promising. Yeah, that was looking really good for me. 